Hi friends, welcome to the video of introduction to sets. In this video, we will discuss about sets and its two forms. At the end of this video, you will be able to explain set and the two forms of sets. So let's define what you mean by set. Set is defined as well-defined collection of object. Let's look at this example. Here in this example, the numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7. We are saying that these are the prime numbers. Means that in this set, we are keeping only those numbers which are prime numbers. We cannot keep 2 here, we cannot 4 here. So whatever the number will be here, they have a property that it is either divisible by the number itself or by the number 1. So this is well-defined collection. Set is usually denoted by the capital letters, either, either by A or B or C or any of the alphabets of your choice. So we used to denote the set by the capital letters. And the elements which, are, which we are keeping inside the set, they are usually denoted by the small alphabets. So A, B, C, X, Y, Z, anything of your choice. And these elements are written inside the curly brackets. So the set is denoted by capital letter A. So we can say that A is equals to inside the curly brackets A, B, C. A, B, C are the elements of the set and capital A is the name of the set. Let's see some more examples for the sets. We said that set is a well-defined collection of objects. So we can say that odd numbers less than 10. It is a well-defined collection of objects. What are the odd numbers less than 10? It is 1, 3, 7, 9. Then the rivers of India. This is also well-defined. If we are going to uh, make a um, chart for this one, we can figure out the rivers of India, put it in a one curly bracket. We can say that this is a set. Similarly, the vowels of the English alphabet, A, E, I, O, U. This can be a well-defined set. Let us look what is not well-defined and how we can say that this is not a set. Look, the collection of bright students in the class. This is not well-defined in the sense that there might be a chance that this student is good in one particular activity, but he is not good in all the other particular activity. And the other student can be good in one particular activity and not, in good, not good in the other particular activity. So, different students have different capabilities. So, we cannot say that this student is bright and this student is dull or this student is dull and this student is bright. So, this is not well defined. Similarly, collection of renowned mathematicians of the world. Different uh, people consider different mathematicians that he is, yes, he is a very great. Someone will say that, no, he is not so great. So, different one has different opinions of the greatness of mathematicians. So, this is also not well defined. Similarly, the collection of beautiful girls. In my opinion, this girl is beautiful. I will say that this is beautiful. But in your opinion, you will say, no, this is not a beautiful. So, this is not a well defined criteria. So, this collection is also not going to be a well defined collection of the world. A set. Now, let us see how we are going to represent the set. Set is usually represented in two forms. First is set builder form. Other is the roster or tabular form. So let's define the set builder form. What is set builder form? In this case, all the elements of the set possesses a common single property which is not possessed by any element outside the set. For example, suppose you have the set A E I O U. What is the common property possessed by the set? The common property is that these letters, they are vowels, okay? And none of the element in the set is not a consonant. This means that no letter other than vowel is considered here in the set. So, we can write this set in the set builder form as like this. V is equals to X such that X is a vowel in the English alphabet. Now, let's define the roster or a tabular form. It says that it is here in this case, all the elements of the sets are listed and they are separated by commas. Means that we are not writing that X such that X is possessing this property. Here we will specially mention that if it is the vowel, we will write down A, E, I, O, U and we will put all those things in the bracket. Just have a look. 
here the set of all even positive integers less than 7. So, what are the set of all even positive integers less than 7? It can be only 2, 4 and 6. So, we will mention it there in the curly bracket 2, 4 and 6. So, this is called the roster form. Similarly, set of all vowels in the English alphabet, it is A, E, I, O, U. Keep it in the curly bracket separated by the comma. This is the roster form. Set of all natural numbers which is divisible by 42. If you will find the, all the divis divisors of 42, it is 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14 and 21 and the number 42 itself. You can check it yourself. So, we are putting all these divisors of 42 in a one curly bracket separated by a comma. This is the roster form. So, what is roster form? It is actually all the, the words, letters or the numbers written inside the curly bracket separated by a comma. One thing to be uh, remembered here is that, look at the uh, first example, it is 2, 4, 6. If we are writing 4, 2, 6, both the sets are same. If we are writing 6, 2, 4, it is again going to be same. This means that in the roster form, order of the elements is immaterial. You can uh, write anything anywhere, but it should be inside the curly bracket. Key points discussed in this video are sets and two forms of sets that is set builder form and roster form. How can you use this? Sets are widely used in almost all spheres of life whether it is home, office, playground or anything. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.